today I'm sort of trying to confirm or debunk my own bias about the CBC and fact check myself a little bit. What I mean is, the CBC really as bad as I think it is, or am I just blinded by my own disgust of having to fund it all? Let's have a little fun and check it out together. It's Friday, the boss is gone, let's not be too academic tonight. So yesterday I was at my computer, waiting on things to upload to the internet, honestly. To be frank, I spend a lot of time doing that because I live in the middle of nowhere where upload speeds are absolutely molasses in January. So to pass the time, I just pulled up the CBC search bar and I got to work. CBC absolutely loves to talk about climate change. It isn't all in my head. On their website right now, there are nearly 20,000 stories referencing climate change specifically from the pro-climate change, we're all going to die in 12 years angle. And there are dozens and dozens and dozens of these fear-mongering stories that were just posted since June 18th, including how we now need to be a haven for climate refugees, whatever those things are. This now is versus some 3,721 stories about the oil sands and approximately 50% of those in my brief leafing through and in my estimation are presenting the oil sands as a net negative in society. Actually, the only thing CBC loves to talk about more than climate change is Trump. With nearly 44,000 hits on the word Trump in the CBC story database. Now, let's flip this a bit and compare it. The CBC, they are absolutely obsessed with Trump. Fine, me too a little bit, but in a different way. If we plug Trump emails into the CBC News search bar, we get almost 12 and a half thousand hits under the News tab. If we plug Clinton emails into the News tab, we get just 736 hits in the CBC archive. How's that for misplaced emphasis, right? Let's do a few more of these just for fun. Okay, let's compare missteps by politicians on the right and then on the left. There are some 49 stories in the CBC archives alleging some sort of ties between Alberta Premier Jason Kenney or his nominated candidates and the white supremacist movement. But there are just 41 stories if you search the keywords Trudeau and water bottle, and not one of those stories references the phrase paper-like juice box water bottle sort of things. Ain't that something? That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest. And then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.